No matter how strange the concept of indoor farming might seem to many people, it is really one of the best and ingenious methods when it comes to producing food plants in areas where arable land is unavailable or rare at the most. But what you will see in this video is an extremely high-tech indoor farming system that is at another level. Hi everyone, once again Richard Aguilar here and I'm back with another amazing video for you. So, to keep you updated with our new videos, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. In today's video, you will be amazed to see the most high-tech indoor farming system that is gaining popularity nowadays. So, with that being said, here we go with our video. Number one is, the farming of the future is here. This 40-hectare property in Baldives is a high-tech greenhouse farm. Inside are crisp lettuce and herbs and some other vegetables, but these aren't grown in the ground soil. They are thriving on robotic tables. Over 110,000 plants can be grown inside here at any time. Gourmet lettuce and herbs like parsley, basil, and coriander, all protected from pollutions and many bad elements. Out in the field, it can take as long as six weeks for these crops to be ready for harvest. But in here, it can be as early as 28 days and most are in perfect condition, using greenhouse farming system like what you can see here. Number 2 is the next generation indoor farming system without soil. Indoor farming with tower gardens is on the rise and rightfully so. You can grow a variety of plants without any soil and 90% less water. It also requires 10 times less space, so you can do a lot more in a smaller area. That only means easily growing fresh herbs, fruits, vegetables, and flowers both indoors and out. And because everything is grown and picked fresh, the flavor is unbelievable. This modern idea of farming uses indoor farming techniques. The artificial control of temperature, light, humidity, and gases makes producing food plants indoors so possible. In many ways, indoor farming is similar to greenhouses where metal reflectors and artificial lighting augment natural sunlight. Number 3 is a fish and veggie farm on a hotel rooftop.
nestled on the rooftop between Fairmont, Singapore and Swiss Hotel, the Stamford is an aquaponic farm that can produce 1,200 kilograms of vegetables and 350 kilograms of fish every month. And by doing so, the hotel hopes to reduce their carbon footprint. Aquaponics is a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics, where fish and plants are grown together in a close environment. Number 4 is Innovative Robotic Indoor Farm in Butler County. This indoor farm is an expansion from its Spring Grove location in Cincinnati. There are now two buildings in Butler County. A third one being built in additional pilot facilities in Alabama, North Carolina, and Arkansas. The intent is to take farming well into the 21st century using robotics. Number 5 is Urban Vertical Farming at Another Level. Here is a new way to farming which is taking root in an old warehouse building in suburban Chicago without the aid of dirt and sunshine. Vertical farm with racks and racks of green leafy plants occupies a 90,000 square foot concrete building in Bedford Park. This operation requires a lot of water and a lot of fish. This kind of unique farm uses fish to fertilize the plants. Each fish tank in here holds 800 to 1,200 tilapia fish. The waste they produce is filtered and then pumped into a series of growing system stacks about 3 stories high. Number 6 is another kind of futuristic indoor farming system. The way we get our food in the United States is completely messed up. When you go to the grocery store, especially in a city, most of the fresh fruits and vegetables you see have been trucked in from somewhere else, losing crucial nutritional value at an environmental cost. This is a huge problem. But Elon Musk's brother has a solution, in the form of a shipping container being converted into an indoor farm.
Number 7 is using high-tech indoor farming system to save the earth. With the advancement of indoor farming technology, fresh fruits and vegetables can be served on tables right away. Indoor farming methods could help preserve lands and rainforests and also give time for other lands to recover and replenish topsoil and also help reduce carbon consumption. And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.